concerning the Republic's power Please do not use dyes or fuel in municipal water sources. Remember, all panning must be conducted outside the city limits. Offenders will be fined. That could be our man. What do you catch him? There! There! You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does, but I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills, Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own.
Dolby Doma. <coughs> what lovely tight pants. <laughs> Whatever is on his mind, it must be important. My God, has his mind snapped? Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Nothing here for you. Good evening, Gonfaloniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying this. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known that evil is here? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. You! have done the same to save the ones you love yes I would and I have the auditory are not dead I'm still here me Ezio Ezio Auditore
think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could haunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are in the notorious and No, no, no. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave, and Mother... Oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's... happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Andiamo. Time will Go be your on. last, Capito. Then on raise your flag on to the hero of our Fueled by flames of all this vengeance, so whom they'll feel his parents. Gold! Money! Here, Gold! Money. Gold! 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 Yeah. 
Let's do it. You have to be a stand I'm going to some down the front of my grave. Segui me. Follow my lead. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. our house I don't know were they were they given a proper burial yes they were We should be close. Grazie a Dio. Follow my lead.
Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself! As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Yvote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Journey. I thought Monterigioni was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. 
Now that you have had the tour de Monte, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. <coughs> begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. <laughs> no, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family but further about still. Your father? He wants you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But but that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa.
Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Makeme Combini, Giovanni. Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Not one of those you seek, Signore.
Look at him. He'll break his neck. Be nice, be nice to your to friend, friend. Be more careful! I'm a friend.
Friends about me, return any time. Care for all. Come, don't be shy. I I'm only aim to heal. There is no need for this. You I've should done feel what better I could. now, but take but care. Perhaps in you should avoid the deeds that brought you here. Stop with me. I'm some of the Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo! You can swing a sword, to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father... An assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I think that you have the Codex Cage in full day as well. Codex? Uh. 
Sai, le armi servono a duellare. Hai paura? You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued their nefarious work. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But, Nepote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine! Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it.
sky. I only aim to heal. You should feel better now, but take care in future. I'm sure I have just what you need. Here you go, sir. Mention me to your amici. All who need aid are welcome here. Now, now! No need for such acts among amici. Our proud guard reduced to
this way. I've traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabes. <laughs> Will this await? <coughs>
be. Do you see what's going on? They were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted? The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs.
Behold, the mark of Cain. Let you! Don't worry, Captain. He's quite simple. You try not to find anything that actually fights back, eh? We've sold out of devotional landscapes, but... I... Don't forget to send your friends. Nothing for you here, Capone. You know what to do, stay calm. Noble prices for noble wares, armor fit for an emperor, and a price to match. If you think we are kind-hearted... <laughs> Arvali, base as the beasts in the wild for all our pretty speech. And what a stench! Only the height of the speedy axe are available here. Say that. If you've no stomach yeah, for luxury, you would best turn away. He's here! Can you believe that you pay these idiots for protection? Huh? 
You look pale, friend guard. You should have some grappa to restore courage. I mean courage.
A medical assistance. Am I dreaming this? <laughs> Does there something ail you, friend? That should heal quickly now. Notice to all equine dreamers, officers, wagoners, and lance officers. 